tomorrow begins the final leg of what I think is the ultimate gas station tour. I'm setting out to achieve something that no one has ever accomplished. I'm on a mission to visit every single Quick Trip location here in the Midwest. That's over 877 stores altogether. And what's better is that we'll all be done on my motorcycle. Morning, day six. Yeah, <laughs> six. I can't even use one hand anymore. I've got to use both, but that's kind of impossible to do. Uh, today is, we're out of the city limits now, which is fantastic, so there's not a lot, there's a lot more longer periods of actual riding, and I think I hit, like, the point of, like, the Northwoods, at least in Wisconsin we call it up north or the Northwoods, like, you kind of hit a certain boundary and you instantly know, and that's what I'm feeling right now, which I am welcoming, I love and enjoy this type of riding in Wisconsin, and here in Minnesota I can't be very much different until I hit up to Duluth. So today I thought I'd kind of share a little insight of how I eat in a full day of riding just because breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, drinks, everything is consumed <laughs> at a quick trip. So I started around 7 o'clock this morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning now um, and I haven't eaten anything. I only have like my leftover Thanks to my son who has got me hooked on this prime stuff. But that's all I've had this morning because it was left over from last night when I was at the hotel and I haven't finished it yet. So that's about it. So I'm stopped for um, my first official like food stop because my stomach is finally saying, Hey Winnie, uh, <laughs> ready to eat something. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to grab uh, breakfast. Normally I don't do like multiple items every single stop. I just get one and then I move on to the next just because of how many stops I do. It's just, it's easier to get that receipt um, if I don't have to, or if I have to stop so many times. So it makes the most sense. So yeah, let's go in and see what we find for breakfast. Normally my go-to is this guy, but he's out. Next bus would be that one. I like the chicken meat, and I get these. These have been my favorite lately. But there's normally like a chicken sausage one. I'm not seeing it either, so. These egg bites are gonna be my go-to today. Yep, that's what we're doing. So, I got the egg bites, which I showed you guys, but they've been my, this is what they look like. Uh, very easy to eat, too, less messy <laughs> when you still have your helmet on. But I try to focus on higher protein foods in the morning. So, these have 15 grams of protein in them, which is fantastic. So, yeah. bacon, egg, and cheese. I have a laughter, 10 o'clock, stop to hydrate a little bit, I can start feeling it in my head just a little bit, I don't know if that's an indication that I <laughs> need the fluids or not, but I've been gravitating towards the electrolyte drinks for some odd reason, so this Propel Grape one, you know, tastes pretty good to me, even though there's like zero sugar is what it says, who knows. <laughs> Bathroom break and snack break. I love the little small ones. They're like perfect for what I need to hold me up or do lunch. So it's not quite lunch yet, but I just saw a post from Quick Trip sharing these fan freaking tastic Nike Dunks that they just released. And so I was like, no, what? I'm gonna stop. I gotta get something and put my rewards in for it. So I did 10 of them, but I have 700 and some odd change of visits right now and I kind of want to deplete my entire thing and put them in for the entries for this thing because it is fantastic. I'll put a picture here in the video so that you can kind of see what they look like but I'm obsessed. But update, I got an egg roll for right now to hold me over until lunch and yeah, fingers crossed. I can't stop thinking about them right now. <laughs> oh man. So when you ride motorcycles, and especially when you ride long distance motorcycling routes and stuff like that, you get to understand your body and how it works and how it functions. And for me, at one o'clock mark, two o'clock mark is when my body starts to feel drained. 
and I know I just need to get completely off the bike and um, grab some lunch. So that's what I'm doing right now. My go-to lately for lunches have been this turkey sandwich, the cranberry bread. It's delicious. And I always get a chip option. Yesterday I had Cheetos, the day before I had, I had Sun Chips. Today is Funkins. And then, of course, two things mayo. And my Propel that I still have from this morning yet. I need to, I know I need to be drinking more water. We're working on that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had some, like, I still have issues with my wireless charger. I have had, thankfully, my power bank with me to charge it the last, I don't even know, two times now. I'm still at 14% yet. Anyways, hydration. And getting through the city. Another city. This one's not as bad. Okay, last update of the night. Uh, calling it an early. <laughs> Early night is 7 o'clock now, but checked into the hotel and I, the second to last stop that I had planned on today, I drove or like rode next to one that had a Culver's next to it and I got a waff of like the fryer smell and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to eat something now and I realized I hadn't had dinner. So I decided to do kind of my normal operation the last couple days because my routing and my timing has let me a little early. So go-to lately is the take-home meals. I like having these in the hotel at the end of the night because I feel like I actually had a full meal um, because I just feel like I'm snacking throughout the entire day and normally I am because it's just one little thing after the other. So I don't know the past five days I've been eating this Swedish meatballs with mashed potatoes and corn. I don't know. I look at all the other take-home meals and I was like, ooh, okay, that looks good. Maybe spaghetti night. Maybe penne. I was like, no, we're just, we're going to go with the tried and true because I don't know. There's something about it. I like it. So, and always don't forget a fork before you leave the store. Um, and then it's technically PTO vacation for me, so I got myself a little treat. At the end of the night, I'm gonna try these cookie and cream cookie dough bites. I'm gonna throw them in the freezer because I have a freezer option here. In my little fridge and kind of um, harden them up a little bit. We'll try it out. And then of course, hydration. Need, I'm gonna finish this entire thing. I need to, because I'm so used to drinking over 70 to 80 gallons of water daily at home and I, not been very good <laughs> the last week and uh need to do better but that's pretty much it for what i eat in a day traveling to all of these quick trip locations i am making my way up to the duluth area tomorrow i'm super excited to be back in that area i loved it when i was briefly up there uh last may so Fingers crossed for good weather because it's going to rain pretty much all night tonight. But good timing on my part that I'm in a hotel now. I don't have to deal with that and I'm ahead of schedule. So yeah, that is it. We should be up in Duluth and finish by pretty much finish Minnesota ones tomorrow. That's the plan. And then I've got a handful of new ones routing on the way back down to home base and home tomorrow in Wisconsin. And I'll officially be official getting all of to all of them so yeah crazy it's coming to an end very shortly here <laughs> can't see crap in front of you. Um, I had the hardest time even just going across the intersection and seeing that there's a quick trip on the other side. Like, no idea. 